tell you where the fish are. Triple, triple. Get in there. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah man. Bam. Bam. Come on. Make it clear. 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 Make it Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer of Posky Outdoors back in one of everybody's bucket list destinations. We're in Anchorage, Alaska. We're not on a full plane, we're not on private water, we're not at a lodge. This right here, folks, is public water, just like hundreds of miles of places to fish in all of Anchorage, Alaska. Now we're here in the month of August during silver salmon season. Fortunately, as you can see, it's raining. We had a nice rain come in here last night. With that rain, a lot of silvers came up. So we're gonna show you how to come to the bank with Potsky Fire Cured Row, hook the fish in the mouth, catch limits and have a great day in the last frontier. Out here, first drift, ripping the fire cure right through a little seam. Bobber down, three of them, three casts, man. Let the two go, we got a nice chromer. A little blush. I saw that. Bobber down. Right through that little run. Woo! Yeah. Oh, He's got it right in the beat. Look at that. Nice square in the beat. Another one on. What the? <laughs> Cameraman can't keep up, boy. Here we are in Alaska. to get back in there and we're gonna get out some more fish. What's that? Four drifts, three fish, and we're getting it done today, boys. That's a, oh, that's a nice one. They won't throw a bullet for it. That's two. It's a chromer. boys one epic morning just floating this real soft inside seam we're watching them roll up through man she just buried it and start running Woo. fire cure bites on bait life baby look at that inhaled it okay everybody Chris Schaefer of Potsky Outdoors back to you with Dustin Slinker of the Bait Shack and Dustin lives in the state of Alaska, runs one of the shops on Ship Creek, and, and he sees Alaska salmon every single day. Now we're gonna talk about, when you're fishing the Anchorage Bowl, what kind of cure do you have? I see we brought two different kinds of cure today, two different colors. One, what kind of cure do you like, and two, what kind of colors do you bring with you? 
So when we when we start talking silver salmon, gohos, late summer, you know, my primary colors are natural, pink rose, and orange fire cure. You know, I do my eggs up. Uh, I like to let them dry, tack up. That's what I'm targeting these silvers with. So he's using fire cure, guys. And the reason why he's using fire cure is fire cure is a sulfite based cure. Uh, it's more of a hot cure. Um, and what salmon love sulfites. We all know that. If you're a steelhead fisherman, everybody knows steelhead more of a sweet, kind of a sweet mouth, little borax, a little sweetness is better. But why don't you show us what you're doing today and how to hook up and how to rig for fishing for salmon basically in the Anchorage area. So here in the Anchorage area, with us, we're using a lot of St. Croix products, pin reels, 12 pound P line, little slip float action so we can adjust our depths as we pocket fish these small streams. Uh, just going down from hole to hole trying to find where the fish are holding. And a standard, just a bait loop mooching rig here. Line passes back through the eye, gets that bait loop. And then, you know, kind of depending on water conditions, you know, the, the atmosphere, the conditions here are sunny. This morning we got out of here, it was rainy, kind of a light drizzle, water was pretty murky. What we found that was working, working real well was the natural. And all of a sudden, you know, we're getting a lot of action, a lot of bobbers down. We got a lot of fish to the bank, released quite a few. And all of a sudden, the bite just turned off. That's when we switched to the pink. And we just extended our bite for another hour out here. Plenty more fish, put more fish on the stringers, release a lot more fish. Just out here having a good time. But all we do is just cut this bait down. Small little base size chunks. Just feed them on the back of our hook. We just take and roll our hook right into it. This is a nice little bite side chunk of skein just rolling across the bottom. As our water murkied up today, you notice we took the, the split shot off our lines and we're just kind of letting it flow more naturally down through there. It seemed to be working pretty well, especially once it got tough. We switched from natural to pink and the fish turned back on. One thing to consider, there's a lot less anglers out here today uh, in the Anchorage Bowl than there were yesterday. And I think part of the reason why is a lot of people think, hey, the water is muddier today and it's not going to be as easy to catch fish. That's not necessarily true, right? That is not true. You know, I actually like it when it rains, uh, gets the water a little stains. Um, fish will move, less people will come out because they don't want to get wet. But, you know, you look at us, we all got our rain gear on. So we've been staying dry. Temperature's been dropping the last couple of days, so it's nice and cool. You know, it's not too bad, but we definitely got fall in the air. Now, are these coho eggs? Um, this actually right here is uh, some leftover king eggs, but primarily what we're running is just nice coho eggs. These, these, these silvers here, they're not too picky. Coho, king, pink eggs, sockeyes, chum eggs. We put them with some fire cure. We get them done upright. We get out here, we're gonna catch fish. Okay, one thing guys, if you want to learn how to cure eggs or you've cured eggs and you want to see exactly how we're doing it for the Anchorage area, you go online and you go to Team Potsky on YouTube, you'll see two separate videos there. You'll see one of how to cure king salmon eggs on Ship Creek. The other one is how to cure coho eggs on Ship Creek. And both of those show exactly how to cure eggs for catching fish anywhere in the Anchorage Bowl and really it'll work anywhere in Alaska. Yeah. Just yeah. the way I cure eggs, what I prefer, everyone's a little different. I got my colors for kings, I've got my colors for silvers, and we catch fish. These cures are simple, they're super easy, and after you see what we did here today, you'll know that they catch fish. There we are. Got a little duck flying in the background. Another one down. Oh, there's one right back there though. Keep that there. Got him! What? 
Fish on, baby. See what happens when they let me put the camera down. A little bit of fire cure rolling. Whoo! Chromer too. Look at that chrome. Whoop! Come on, buddy. Ooh, he's not ready yet. Woo! Looks like we're gonna have to go get him. Look at James on that one. James on. Come on, buddy. Bam! Boom! The Cromer. Look at that. Let me put the camera down, and the Chrome comes right in. You guys should have had me fishing the whole trip. Would have been on game on the whole time. Three drifts, two fish. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chrome again. Oh, he's a little bit darker. Now we just get him to bait his own hook for the next one. <laughs> you know what? Well, that's what we come to Alaska for. <laughs> Give him a kiss. Whoa, no he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tastes worse than our salmon eggs. <laughs> Does it taste like chips? Man, tastes like chicken. <laughs> Look at that. And there he is. Good strong head shakes on him. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, down here, this fish just swallowed the hook. Hey, so instead of doing, sitting in the back end, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this guy, but man, it just swallowed it all the way down until it's called it. Look at that nice Anchorage, Alaska coho salmon. Natural fire cure getting it done once again today. He's got, got, it. got it, he got it. Oh yeah! He's oh got yeah! Got Woo -hoo. I just shipped Creek Big Mike, walked right in front of him and took it. <laughs> yeah, a Cromer, baby. Woo, a nice one, too. Cromer, Cromer. Woo! In the mouth. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that fire cure. Look at that. Look at that fire cure. Come on, buddy. Back to the bank. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, yeah. Keep the fire cure right there. The Chrome Boy. And that's the pink we were just talking about. Look at this bad boy. Needed to get number three. We were just talking about how you gotta switch up cure. So I put the natural down, grabbed a little bit of the pink fire cure, and this chrome bullet swam right in and just chomped it. Man. <laughs> you three, and out. You three, and out. three and out. Three and out. Shaped dog three and out. Man. Today's episode of Potski Outdoors comes to you from Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, and as everybody knows, Anchorage is kind of an angler's dream, uh, really the whole state of Alaska. It's a place where people dream of some of the best fishing in the world. Uh, and if you are here during uh, peak runs, you're going to experience that kind of fishing. Um, today we, we basically were in the Anchorage Bowl area uh, and just kind of walked up some streams that uh, are listed on the Fishing Game website to hold coho or silver salmon. And uh, the reason why there's so many salmon in here is we're following a nice big rain. So that rain brought the creek level up, drew fish in, and as you can see, if you bring a little bit of Potski Fire Cure Row, you're gonna be in the strike zone often and with something that they wanna eat. Uh, we used a little bit of uh, natural row today, a little bit of orange and a little bit of pink. We did not bring any red at all, uh, but all three of those colors caught fish. And oftentimes, we basically had to keep switching up once we caught a couple of fish to a different color. 